I'm Eric from the technical support team at Solidscape. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove models from the build plate and how to de-wax those models. I'll also share the top three mistakes Solidscape operators make and how to avoid them. One, pushing waxes off the build plate during removal. Two, de-waxing at too high of heat. And three, leaving the waxes in the VSO for too long. At the start of each print job, your Solidscape High Precision 3D printer automatically prints two layers of support material called platform layers. These layers enable you to easily remove wax from the build plate. Solidscape recommends using a hot plate to melt the platform layers. The hot plate should be large enough to accommodate the build plate and be flat. This ensures maximum heat dispersion so the support layers of all models are equally melted. Keep the temperature of the hot plate below 90 degrees Celsius to avoid damaging your waxes. You can cover your wax with a box, styrofoam cup, or paper towel. This keeps the heat trapped, creating an oven, helping to melt the bottom support layers. Using a paper towel has the added benefit of absorbing some of the melted support material, reducing the amount left on the build plate. But remember, never increase the temperature setting above 90 degrees Celsius, or you may damage your model. The Solidscape post-processing kit contains a heater stirrer, a glass Pyrex bowl that you want to put your VSO in and drop in your stirrer, a wire mesh basket, and a thermometer. You want to set the heater so that the VSO is at 55 degrees Celsius. It's very important not to exceed 55 degrees Celsius or you risk damaging your models. When you set up the stirrer, you want to set it high enough that it moves the VSO around, but you don't want to create a whirlpool because that may damage uh, more delicate items. Sometimes it might be more appropriate to try something different. For a long, flat object, you might want a long, flat bowl with a mesh on the bottom. This prevents it from curling or warping. Sometimes you might need to get creative. For something with del other delicate features, you may decide to suspend it from a stick with some string. You could try using a coffee filter, or even something like a tea infuser to keep really delicate parts safe. Now let's remove your models. A good indication that your models are ready for removal from the build plate is when you see a pool of melted support material around the model. You can gently nudge your model, but never attempt to push or slide the model, since they could break if the platform layers are not fully melted yet. Removing your waxes from the build plate should be approached differently depending on the wax. More robust waxes with thicker shanks or minimal prongs can be lifted off with your fingers. But for more fragile or longer models, we recommend using something like a business guard or post-it note. This method ensures the model is completely loose without causing any damage. If the business card does not easily slide under a model, this indicates the platform layers are not fully melted. Just give it some more time. Tweezers can be used to remove more delicate waxes from the build plate. Once your de-waxing station is set up and the VSO bath is at 55 degrees Celsius, put models that need to be de-waxed directly into the strainer. Lower the strainer into the VSO bath so the models are submerged. How quickly your models de-wax depends upon the geometry of the models and their size and how they're positioned within the VSO. A simple model might only take 20 to 30 minutes to de-wax. Larger models with hollows or models with more support material will take longer. For models that have a channel or trap support material, let gravity help with the de-waxing. Position the models in the VSO so the opening of the channel faces down. Maintain the VSO temperature at 55 degrees Celsius. Increasing the temperature of the bath beyond 55 degrees Celsius will significantly increase the risk of damaging models and ruining model quality. Be sure to check waxes every 15 minutes or so. Adjusting the position of models during the de-waxing can assist with the de-waxing process. You may also notice models taking longer to de-wax. Be careful not to introduce water or any other foreign liquids into your VSO. This can damage the model quality. VSO should be changed when the models are no longer visible. The longer you use the VSO, the more dust and debris will redeposit and slow down the de-waxing process. Once again, make sure not to heat up the VSO to more than 55 degrees Celsius. When you're satisfied that your models are de-waxed enough, carefully remove them from the bath. We recommend using a paintbrush to clean the models of any debris, especially if you're using older VSO. Next, carefully blow the wax with compressed air to remove further debris. It is also important to completely remove all VSO. Finally, 
Cellskip recommends brushing or dipping wax with a light viscosity mineral oil. The mineral oil acts as a mold release after you sprue and flask the model for casting. However, do not use any oil with aloe or scent in it. This will destroy your model. Now, you can put your models on a paper towel to dry. After it dries, you're ready to sprue the model for casting. On behalf of Solidscape, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to call either us or your service provider. Thank you.